in the short time it's been open, a Slidell restaurant has gained a big following. Now they're starting over after a devastating fire yesterday. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. It's a major blow to the owners as well as their fans, but as Rachel Handley shows us, they're determined to reopen soon. Tuesday, Las Maritas' owners stood in 95 degree heat and watched their hard work go up in flames. It took us like a year to. That afternoon, crews were replacing the roof when something sparked. Raul Mendoza and Marisa Reyes were told someone may have cut through a wire or that an air conditioner might have overheated. It didn't take long for the fire to spread. The smoke was outside and then when it started all that stuff falling now. The fire happened between lunch and dinner, so there were only a few customers there. Neither they nor any employees were hurt. But the building is a loss. Las Maritas has only been open on Gauze Boulevard for eight months. Reyes and Mendoza spent longer than that getting the restaurant ready to open. We didn't have all the budget. We didn't have a, like a, a lawn or anything. It's, it was all our savings to, to put in here. And it started paying off right away. The restaurant had already become a local favorite. The food is so beautiful. Customers like John Cosgrove were emotional when they saw what happened. It's just sad. They just opened it up. And he works his f off for this place. And when the St. Tammany Fire District posted this video on Facebook Tuesday, it got hundreds of reactions and shares. In the comments, people praise Las Maritas' food and service and offer prayers to the owners. They support us from the beginning. Now the restaurant's owners are asking the community for help as they start the long process of rebuilding. A GoFundMe for Las Maritas raised hundreds of dollars in less than a day. Mendoza and Reyes are hoping for more as they look for a new building to call home. This is, it's sad. It's real sad, but um, it's, it's not going to stop us. It, we're going to come back and stronger. And once they do, hungry customers will already be waiting for them. Rachel Handley, WWL Louisiana. We have a link to the restaurant's GoFundMe in this story on our website.